Kelsey Rothhouse, and this is Behind the Hype with Cal TV Sports. I'm here in Haas Pavilion with starting forward of our men's basketball team, Ivan Rab. Ivan, thank you so much for being on the show. No problem. No problem. First of all, huge congratulations for the AP preseason All-American honor. Yeah, yeah. You received the second most votes, you're the only underclassman, and you're only the second player from Cal to get it since Jason wow. Kidd, 1993. You were not even born yet. <laughs> you telling me things I didn't even know. <laughs> there you go. I mean, you've received so many basketball accolades, but when you first heard about this one, what was your reaction? Well, uh, it was definitely exciting. Um, I mean, I know there's a, a, a ton of players who've gotten this uh, this award, but at the end of the day, it's still a preseason award, and I still have to go out and prove it, uh, not only to them, but to my teammates and to my coaches that um, that can lead the, to team to wins. And going into this season, you lost a couple key guys to graduation. Jalen Brown, right, of right, course, right. was drafted to the Celtics, right. but you have so many strong new additions Definitely. and core returners. How would you compare the dynamic of this year's team to last year's team? Um, this year, I would say that we brought in a lot of um, quick guards. Um, okay. we, have, we have three guards that just mm -hmm. that came in this year um, who all play. They're fantastic players in transition. Um, they, they can all shoot and score the ball, period. Um, they all play pretty great, pretty good defense. And um, at the end of the day, they just want to be part of a good team. And I think that we're building something special here. And you're only a sophomore, but do you feel like you've started to take on a little bit of a leadership role with this group of guys? Yeah, definitely. Um, starting in the summertime, people were looking to me to, to lead drills and just be vocal on the basketball court and even off, um, off the court in the locker room. I think all of those things add up to, to being a great leader. And the fact that we're even here today and that we're talking yeah. about your sophomore season, it's a big deal. Last yeah. <laughs> last spring, you know, you had that big decision. Mm -hmm. You're going to enter the draft. You're projected to go as high as six. You decided to come back. Right. What went into that decision? To be honest, I felt like I had some unfinished business here. Um, and other, I mean, besides that, I just, I love the campus. I take, I've taken a lot of great classes. I've met a lot of great people and um, I've, I'm just building more and more relationships every day. So um, there was a lot of important people here that I didn't want to leave yet. And I, what's wrong with another year of college? Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Nothing's wrong with another year of college. On behalf of all of Cal students, we're very thankful. Now, in honor of you staying in Berkeley for another year, we're going to have a little power round uh -oh. of questions here. <laughs> So just answer quickly, you know, right. got to talk about your favorites in Berkeley. So hard one, first one, uh, favorite food place in Berkeley. Okay, my favorite food uh, yeah. definitely is Tivoli's right now. Oh, good Tivoli's, choice. Tivoli's, yeah, I love it. Favorite class you've taken so far? Favorite class, uh, black re representation of black people in reality TV. It was Very a class I I've taken over summer. It was it was amazing. Uh, Colin Kaepernick was in that class, along with really? a lot of other people who just who just made a huge impact. So it was it was great. Go Bears, that's yeah. awesome. Um, favorite thing to do in Berkeley besides playing basketball? Yeah, we don't have a lot of free time, but when I do, um, I try to spend it just relaxing with friends or going to the movies. I love going to the movies. I love popcorn. So love popcorn. Do. Yeah. Best Conto Martin quote or mannerism? Sure, there's a lot <laughs> to choose from there. Yeah, uh, wow. Uh, the craziest thing or the funniest thing that he says is just he loves to say, when the lights come on, don't get afraid. Like He doesn't exactly <laughs> say that, but he definitely says don't don't start choking don't get scared when the lights come on when it's time to have a serious game good message yeah. good message and lastly if you can pick one do you have a favorite memory in Haas Pavilion so far um, I would say the last game um, against SE when, when we finished up oh, the 18-0 yeah. season that was, that was a great game also against Oregon last year when we came out mm -hmm. just scoring the ball um, just just rapidly um, to begin the game so those are the two probably my favorite games how do you feel about your chances of going undefeated at home again this season? You can you can never call it. I think that no, was that was an historic it. thing. Yeah. Um, one game at a time, definitely. But that's definitely our goal. I mean, why not try to win every game? Absolutely. Yeah. Well, thanks so much for being on the show, Ivan. No Good luck the rest of the season. Oh,